I'm so thankful to GW. You know, GW allowed me to kind of reinvent myself. I transferred back here. Um, I uh, am really indebted to Bob Talent, the coach at the time. I know he'll be here tonight. I stay in close touch with him. Uh, he kind of talked me into playing my last year of eligibility here. He, he, now listen, he was a good player. I was just telling him when, when, you know, he was on the team that played against, you know, our starters. And he wore us out every day. We had this other kid, Penny Elliott, who was a transfer from VCU. They beat us every day in practice. He scored 20, 25 points. And uh, I'm, I'm still amazed that he only scored five or six points, you know, the year he played. Because if he played for me, he'd average at least 50. I'd have got more shots. I guarantee you. <laughs> Being a guard, you know, he definitely that was. guard the, behind, I would have been look, coming behind. You, you, you wore that out? I would wear that out. Yeah. I couldn't get that the next year. High post screen there. You know, they'll play the old post split. Yep, the split. Oh, I yeah. would get that. Bump it back. Wear that out. Very fond memories of Foggy Bottom. And uh, hopefully I can bring a little bring a little luck uh, and get a big win for uh, GW. You're currently coach at Notre Dame, good friend of mine, good friend of ours, and uh, he's getting inducted to the GW Hall of Fame tonight at halftime, so we want to uh, give him a round of applause. Let me just say this, you know, from when we played you last year to who you are now, I am thoroughly impressed. You're really good. And one thing to think about tonight when you're in a situation like this, nothing to lose, man. Let it rip. We're going to play the same way over there at Maryland. By the way, any advice on beating Maryland? Because you suckers <laughs> know how to beat them. <laughs> you know, and I watched that game. What a great win for you. But a game like tonight, these are, God, these are the ones that you, when you come back to reunions, you're going to remember them. But uh, one of the phrases I've tried to use with our group since we're kind of figuring ourselves out, nothing to lose. Let it rip, nothing to lose. It's an honor to be here. And uh, I'm excited to watch the place rocking and watch you guys play because you have, from when you played us, you remember that? I remember you as a young guard. You're a man now. You're a freaking man now. You're having an unbelievable year. It was only a matter of time. Where's Creek? Reinvent himself, man. Are you kidding me? Coming back here, reinvent yourself, right? So have fun. I'll be cheering. I may get a technical, but I'm going to have fun tonight. Let it rip. All right? Clearly, folks here still look at Coach Bray and think, GW, he's one of us. Oh, absolutely, because I know, you know, I've had over the years talked to Mike and talk about situations or, uh, you know, his roots are here in Montgomery County and Maryland and D.C. And, uh, you know, he just, he, I know after Notre Dame, he wants GW to win. This place, Foggy Bottom, to the Bray family means so much. My father had his master, you know, earned his master's degree from here. My mother was a women's swimming coach here while I was a student. And I recruited, I recruited this middle blocker off the volleyball team by the name of Tish Schlapo and married her. Um, uh, definitely the best athlete in the family. Uh, so Foggy Bottom runs through the Bray family. Very deep, great memories. Tonight was lovely because it was not only about Michael, but it was about his mom and me and the whole relationship that we had at GW. And uh, he forgot to tell everybody that I actually knew his mom before I knew him because she was the swim coach there. So I met her before I met him. and. Uh, so it was really neat to see how excited she was to come back there again, besides how excited Michael was. It was great to be on that floor again and feel the excitement that I remember feeling when we played there. I have to say that Morgan holds a very special place in both our hearts, Morgan and Kathy both. And to see him and all the health problems that he's gone through and to see him up there and still going strong.
George Washington. Eight. How the hell are you?